So, okay, starseed, light bringer, I know you're really feeling strung out right now, probably exhausted, probably angry about world events. You're wondering what's going on in your own life. You're maybe feeling changes like not just physical or exhaustion or emotional upset, but you're looking at your life as a whole and thinking, should I change my business or my job? Should I move somewhere? Where am I supposed to move to? I'm getting a feeling I'm supposed to move, but where to? Or maybe it's relationship issues or family issues. Absolutely, 100%, I hear you. If you have felt exhausted, upset, depressed, dizzy, uh, physical aches and pains, and you're thinking, is this 5D? Is this what we were moving toward? This is craziness. Let's look at it from the bigger picture. And then I want to invite you to a free event where you can get some answers. So the bigger picture is that the sun is going through tremendous changes right now. And that the solar light, this plasmatic and photonic light reaching us, is reaching every cell and every particle of our being. So yeah, that's going to bring some huge changes. If your every cell is being detoxed and raised to a higher level vibrationally, and your DNA is being raised to a higher level, and your consciousness is shifting, and you're coming into your true work, you're awakening, you're doing all this work in the etheric, in your sleep state, yes, it's going to feel rough. Now some of that sadness, some of that upset, is because the subconscious is really bringing up a lot right now in terms of old trauma, current trauma, current life trauma, and all these issues that have never been resolved. And in other lives, friend, in other lives we didn't know what we know now. We didn't think in terms of entity intrusions. We didn't think in terms of the work we do in the etheric in our sleep state, that everybody comes in with a soul mission, as well as, in addition to soul growth, an earth, earth mission. We didn't think in terms of, say, gray entities or light or dark entities or what have you. And we didn't think in terms of the earth being embedded with so much toxicity. We might have noticed it, but we didn't understand the overreaching implications and the old authority structure and that we couldn't trust it. And now that that authority structure, quote unquote, is on its way out, we're seeing huge shifts on this planet. Absolutely tremendous changes in terms of how people view themselves, how governments are working and how they're not working and how there are whole movements to produce, to co-create human sovereignty. And so how does that affect you on an individual level? It affects you on every level. Your subconscious is maybe trying to hold on to the old 3D way of life. It doesn't understand all these changes, it's resisting it, and it's also presenting you with all this trauma, all this sadness, all this intensity that's coming up to be healed. That's a lot to handle at once. In addition to which, in your sleep state, as I've been saying, you travel the universe. Sometimes maybe you're in a ship, maybe you're in inner earth meeting, doing council meetings there. Maybe you are with your soul family and you're all enacting some huge, beautiful uh, shift for the earth physically, for humanity in terms of consciousness. I've talked to people in channeling sessions uh, where they're describing uh, these feelings they have of what they're doing in their sleep state. And then I talk to their spirit team or as I'm channeling the collective or talking to them. And they said, well, you're visiting these sacred sites and you're awakening them. You're putting them back into operational mode. Um, you're doing all of this. You're working with the crystalline energy grid. Or you're, you're working with this galactic council or other to bring peace to the planet. And yes, that's a lot. That's kind of a huge uh, mission. That's a huge moment for humanity that we're going through this. And some people are a little more aware of it than others. As starseed or light workers, you might be feeling like, yeah, I understand what's happening, but it's still knocking me flat. It's still absolutely shoving me around. I'm exhausted. I'm dizzy. I feel ill. My appetite has changed drastically. I can't stop eating or I don't really feel like eating. Uh, I'm making with the sugar and the caffeine just to keep going. I wake up in the morning. I don't want to move. I don't feel like bothering with life. I feel depressed. Depression and isolation are running rampant now. There are epidemic levels in the U.S. and many other countries. So understand 
that this isn't just a thing in and of itself. All Everything we're going through is part of a huge process. And it's bringing us to remember who we really are. It's bringing us to be in conscious connection, not just with our guides and angels and a higher self, which is our spirit team, but also our soul family. Some of them are gonna be on the earth and some of them are in the ships or in the etheric and you're absolutely working so hard to assist in the development of fifth dimensional life on this planet. Your every moment right now is dedicated to that. So if you don't also have a ton of energy left over for everyday chores like laundry and um, figuring out your budget and going to work every day or what, looking after little ones, whatever it is that you're doing, if you don't have a lot of motivation, it's because the center of your life energy is assisting with birthing a fifth dimensional earth. And again, these light particles coming in, even though they are rinsing us clean of the old world toxicity, it's exhausting. It's a shift that is very tiring. And again, the subconscious is thinking, well, why do we want to let go of the way things are? That's what I know and trust. I don't trust all this stuff. Now, you and I are not in control of the subconscious necessarily. We can work with it. Yes, it runs 95% of your life. You probably heard that. But we can't control it by saying on a logical surface, conscious level, look, wake up. This is important. I'm evolving. Everybody is. These are ascension times. Let's get moving. What are you doing holding on to the old? What are you doing resisting change? Stop that. That won't work. <laughs> so for that, you go to energy work. You go to tapping, emotional freedom technique. You go to writing out uh, affirmations and then letting yourself react on the right-hand side of the page each time you write that affirmation. Because what's going to happen is your subconscious is going to say, no, I'm not 100% abundant, or no, I'm not healed yet, or whatever. It's going to spew out all this stuff from the old order. And what we do in the Abundant Living program, I'll just quickly mention, because of this free event, is to work with the subconscious, to work with the energetics that you and I can't usually get to with our conscious determinations. Now, those are helpful. Those are wonderful. And they can help to start steering us forward. But if you've got huge abundance blocks, old vows and oaths, big soul contracts that you haven't even really realized are there, they're just going to be there. And you're consciously working against them and you're wondering why things aren't working, even though you've done everything this or that manifesting book said to do. And it's because those old agreements, those old contracts, they've got to be dissolved, friend. They've absolutely got to be dissolved. So let me tell you about this free event. It's going to be just a sort of a demonstration of what we offer in the Abundant Living program. It'll be this Thursday, November 9, 2023. And so if you're watching this past that, you can still find out about the program. But if you're watching it this week, as I speak, this is Monday, I guess it's the 6th. <laughs> That's another thing. Time is moving mind-blowingly fast and the date and the time may feel utterly irrelevant to you. That's a 5D moment as well. So um, yeah, absolutely be there. This Thursday, November 9th, starting at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, that's U.S. and Canada time. And if you can't be there to write your question live into the chat, um, I'll be in channeling mode. I'll be bringing forth answers from the collective and your spirit team and offering energy work. But if you can't be there, just email your question to support at ascensiontimes.com. Or you can send it to ascensiontimes at gmail.com. And I'll put all this info and the link to the live YouTube uh, in the description below, as well as a link to learn more about the Abundant Living program. And the next launch of that program will start this Sunday. So uh, one week from now, as I speak, but um, you are more than welcome to look into it. And please do come to the live Q&A, whether you're interested in the program or not. Just get... A moment of support. If you don't get support from people like me and the collective and, your, and um, everybody they work with, your spirit team, etc., that's okay. Get support somewhere, please, in this time when, as you know, de again, depression, isolation at an all time high. Please know you are completely loved and supported. And now is the time to realize that and step forward. Get yourself the kind of community support and also individual support that's going to assist you on your path. You 
might be feeling depression at the moment. You might be feeling uh, very low and kind of upset. I've been sort of, if I drop something, I've been yelling and swearing at it, that kind of thing. And other people told me they've been doing the same thing. So uh, yeah, a lot coming up, no question, but you're not alone, friend. So, okay, Thursday, November 9, hope to see you there. And I send much love and many blessings. Namaste.